Hey there, today we're going to be working on glutes and abs. So if you have a band like this, make sure to whip it out. If you don't have a band like this, no worries. You can still do every single exercise in today's workout without any equipment whatsoever. So we're going to get started here in a second and I hope you're ready to work that booty and the abs because that's what we're about to do. Before we dive in, today's video is brought to you by Built. Nutrition, especially post-workout nutrition, is extremely important and I know if you're like me, it's sometimes hard or annoying to have to make a whole shake or a whole meal afterwards. So I wanted to share with you one of my quick little hacks which is Built Bar. The reason that I love these bars is because number one, they use real chocolate. I really don't like the taste of fake chocolate so if you're like me, and you need your chocolate fix. Number two, they're high protein, low calorie. Okay, so they have that protein that you're gonna need to help rebuild up your muscles at the end, but they're under 200 calories for each one of these Built Bars each. They also have 18 different flavors. There's nine nut versions and then nine non-nut versions. Try saying that 10 times fast. And last but not least, for all my gluten intolerant people out there, these bars are gluten-free, so you're covered. So if you're interested in getting your own Built Bars or trying these little guys out, highly recommend it. Make sure you check out the link in the description box below. Okay, let's get back to the workout. First, let's do our warm up. Let's get started. Okay, starting with a step tap, side to side for the reach and pull. Reach and pull. Get nice and low, sit your hips back, pull your abs in. Nice tall posture here. Full extension of your arms forward with a pull to the back. Okay, stay low, keep those knees bent, pull the abs in and up. Here we go, four more, three, two, and through. Here we go, single squats, down and up, down and up. So your knees stay behind your toes, okay? Weights in your heels, down and up, a little faster, down and up. Here we go, keep that chest lifted. Couple more. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can take the arms out, keep them parallel with the ground, or you can reach and pull, reach and pull. Warming up the body. Here we go. Eight, seven. Remember, you can keep those arms out. That's a little bit harder. Five, last four, three, two, and through, beautiful, hold it down, give me a pulse. Pulse, lift the chest, pulse, nice and slow. Beautiful, take your hands to your hips, four, three, two, and one. Step out, side and in, side and in. Couple more slow, then we'll pick up the speed. Give me four more, four, three, Two, we're gonna go double time. Keep those shoulders back, chest lifted. Tap, 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 tap. Four, three, two, and one. Both sides come on up. Find your balance. Pull your knee into your chest. Beautiful, if you need to use a chair here for balance, please do so, open up the hip. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Bring it back in and release. Other side, find your balance. Pull that hip up, knee to the chest. Find your balance here, rotate open to the side. Back to center and release. Take your feet wide, lunge, lateral, side to side. Opening up the hips, warming up that inner outer thigh. Good, reach across, a couple more here. Keep your back flat, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come to the center, take your toes out, drop the hips, hands on top of your thighs, drop your right shoulder down, look up. Beautiful, come back center, other side, switch. Come center, round it all the way up, inhale, reach, exhale, pull. Take your arms out to a T, toes forward, front of the room, we reach across and lift, across, and lift, you got it? Now if you have really tight legs, you're gonna wanna reach for your thigh or your shin. And as you get more and more flexible, you can start to increase range of motion, reaching all the way to the toes. Make sure here, you're lifting with the backs of your legs and glutes, not your back. Eight, seven, strong straight legs, six, good, five. 
Here we go. Four, three, last two, last one, both sides. Beautiful, big stretch. Inhale, reach. Take your toes out, exhale, drop it. Inhale, reach up. Reach the fingers out nice and wide. Beautiful. All right, you should be nice and warm by now. Let's get in to the actual workout. Okay, the first move is gonna be a 180 hop with a squat. So land low in your squat. Pull it up, find your balance on your back leg with a kick. Okay, so drop it low, hop around, squat, find your balance, and a kick. Here we go. We got 20. There's one. Two. You can add a punch, I like to. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten are gone, ten to go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Keep that foot flexed. Boom. Six. Four. Three. One more each side. Two. And one. Good. Catch your breath. A little step tap. Bring the arms up. And arms out. Good again. Arms up. Inhale. Exhale out one more time. Cooling it down. Finding your second wind. Good, beautiful. Take your left foot forward. Right leg goes back, 45 degree angle. You're gonna drop it down and lift. Drop and lift. Little bowling lunge. Beautiful. Here we go, push this hip out to this back corner. Forward knee stacks over, forward heel. Seven more. And six. The more you push this hip out to the side, the better. Four. Three. Two. Hold it down and pulse for me. Eight. Seven. Six. Push the hip out. Five. Four. You got it. I know it's burning. I'm there with you. Four. Three. Two. Come up and switch right away. Here we go. Take it down and lift. Find your balance first. These first couple on the other side. Good, make sure your knee is tracing out toward your back hip. Never passing over the forward toe. Good, again, eight more. You got it. Seven, six, five. Get full range of motion here. Come on, you can do it. Push this hip back. Two, and one, pulse it out, eight. Seven, six, five, four, feel the booty, three, you got it, two, and one, come on up, shake your legs out. Now, here's the part where if you have a band, feel free to grab it if you don't have one. No worries, you can still do this exercise, okay? So don't make excuses. If you do have the band, we're gonna pull it up right above your knees, okay? And then we're gonna drop down one side of the mat. We're gonna step, 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 then back. So side, step, side, then back. A little faster. Double time. You stay nice and low. You got it. So you can see, you can easily do this with or without a band. Good, but I'm stepping the distance of my mat. So I'm really traveling here. And I'm staying nice and low. Good, again. The more you keep your knees bent here, the better it'll be for you, right? Working on those booties, yeah? This is also cardio endurance because we are moving and it's not so much strength based because we keep going through high reps. So it takes a lot for our cardiovascular system to be working here, which is great news for you. That means we're burning mega calories. Good, beautiful. That means we're oxygenating the body fat inside of you. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that what we want? Now see if you can drop it one inch lower. Come on. Side to side. Two more. One there and one back. Now come to the center. 
We're gonna find our balance here. We're gonna shift our weight into the left leg. You're gonna stand up, lift and lower. Lift and lower. And you notice both my knees stay bent. And lift and lower. Four, three, two, other side. Find your balance first, shift in your right leg, then lift and lower. Keep those knees bent, keep that top foot flexed. Good, give me four more, four. You got it, three. Come on, your legs are shaking, so are mine. Woohoo! Beautiful, single squats, down and up. Good, get low, get high. Get low, get high. Yes, imagine how good it's gonna feel to be done, right? You're almost there. Four, three, make your way to this side. We're going step taps, side to side. One more time, come on. That's why this isn't just glutes today. It's glutes and abs, right? Because everybody's got abs. Everybody has abs. Just for some of us, we have a little extra tissue in front and that's okay. That's why we're doing this endurance, right? This little bit heavy breathing, it's always a good thing. Now you can always use a thing called the talk test to make sure you're working right. I want you to six or seven out of 10. Maybe some of you are eight out of 10, but I can still hold a combo with you, right? So I'm working, but I'm not huffing and puffing so bad that I can't speak. That would be high intensity hit training, right? And here we are, we're doing lower intensity cardio strength. You got it? Good, eight, seven, Almost there, drop it lower. Five, you got it, four, yes, three, good, two, and one. Back to the center, find your balance, shift in your right leg, here we go. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Do this with or without a band. Three, two, this is more strength, right? One. Other side, find your balance first. Maybe shake the glutes out. Drop it down, get low in the left leg. Up, down, five, good. Four, relax your neck. Three, keep the foot flexed. Two, ooh, it's burning. Beautiful, shake it out. I'm gonna get rid of the band here. Feel free to do the same, catch your breath, grab water. Do what you gotta do, All right? <laughs> We're gonna do one more set of those bowling lunges. Okay, and then we have a bonus round. I hope you stick around for it. This time you're gonna start right leg first. Take it all the way back, down and up. If you wanted to, you could hold those dumbbells around the side, okay? It's up to you what your goals are. Good, 11, 10, almost there. Nine, press through the forward heel, down and up. Nice and slow, yes. Six, remember, push this right hip out the back right corner of the room. Four more, nice and slow. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Up and switch, here we go. Take it back and lift. Two sets of eight, that's it. You're almost there. Good, drive this hip out. Beautiful. You got eight to go, let's go. Find your second wind. Seven, six, five, four, three. Last couple here. Last one, come on up, shake your legs out. How's that feel? Now, you could pause here and repeat that whole circuit one more time, or we're gonna move on. We'll do a quick stretch, catch our breath, and move into the bonus abs round. So your legs are probably pretty jelloy right now. So I want you to be careful. If you need to use a chair, please do so for balance. We're gonna stretch out the quads first. So shift your weight in your left leg, pull the right heel into the glute, tuck the pelvis under, and then press the hips forward. Good, you should feel that stretch right along down the front of your right thigh in the front. And keep the knees together. If you can here, lift the chest, big inhale, and exhale, release carefully, switch to the other side. Now if you were to come to any of my in-person classes, you would immediately see that I build the stretches into the actual workout. And the reason for that is because I don't want you to skip the stretch, okay? It's one of the most important parts of your workout. And if you stretch throughout the, the actual exercises that we're doing, 
you will find yourself opening up, becoming more limber, more flexible, and stronger, and able to continue forward through those more challenging exercises, okay? So take your feet nice and wide, toes point forward, big inhale here. Exhale, take the hands to the hips, forward fold. Lift the kneecaps up, flex the fronts of the thighs. Strong straight legs here, keep your head above your heart. So make sure you're not dipping down like this. Your head is lifted, your chest is pulling forward, your hips are driving back, your kneecaps again lifting upward to flex the front of your thigh, stretching out the backs of the hamstrings, backs of the thighs. If you wanna put your hands on your shins here to help support yourself, we're keeping the hands on your hips. Good, from here slowly bend the knees, we'll round forward and release. And then see if we can straighten the legs one more time. A little bit deeper of a stretch. We're gonna walk the hands over to the left side, taking both feet forward, driving down into a runner's lunge. Quick little intermission stretch here. I want you to be fresh and full of energy for the last two exercises in today's workout. Coming back to the other side, lift the back heel, drop the hip. Nice runner's lunge here. Framing your forward foot. Thinking of the fore knee, pulling forward the back heel, pulling back like your Gumby and you're stretching as you press that left hip down toward the floor. Good, bring the back leg in, come back to center. Hands back to your hips, round it all the way up. Make sure you find your balance here. Come back to center. We're gonna cross the right ankle over the left knee and then slowly set our hips back for an outer thigh stretch here and glute stretch. For some of you, if you have tight ankles, you can do a couple ankle rotations here if you have good balance. Keep your abs pulled in. Ooh, and come on up. Beautiful other side, here we go. Crisscross, applesauce. This is called a figure four standing stretch. Requires a lot of balance here. You could also do this seated in a chair by crossing the top leg over while you have a seat and then lean the body forward in the chair. Beautiful. Coming back to center, get ready because we're going into the bonus round. Okay, this bonus round is really intense, so I really need you to push yourself, but stay safe. If your form starts to fail, make sure you pause, grab a drink of water, keep your head above your heart, and don't stop moving. It's important to keep your blood flowing and make sure that you keep breathing, okay? We have two moves, and we're gonna repeat 20 reps of each. Here we go. Okay, the first move is a burpee with a front kick. We're gonna alternate sides, I'll show you in a second. And the second move is gonna be a mountain climb coming up to a front kick, okay? So we're gonna be fast, up and down, working the abs, working the core, working the cardio. Here we go. So the first one, 20 reps of the burpee. You can step or hop back, and then step or hop up with a front kick, boom. And then step or hop back, good. Switch legs, there's two, three, four, Five. Make sure you're alternating those legs. Six. Seven. Eight. Beautiful. Keep it going. Ten to go. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, almost there you guys, keep breathing. Five, four more, that's easy. Three. Last one, right into the mountain climb with the front kick. So if you need to set your knees down here, take a child's pose, please do. Otherwise, you're right into it. We have one, two, three. Then you're gonna hop up right into forward kick, then down you go. One, two, three, pop up, switch legs, forward kick, here we go. Take it back, one, two, three mountain climbs, up and kick, back you go. One, two, three, good, there's four. One, two, three, right foot forward, good. One, two, three, left foot forward, six, one, two, three, step up, good. One, two, three, up you go, Woo. here we go. One, two, three, all the way up, and kick. Good, down you go, one, two, three, step up, Woo. kick. 
Here we go. One, two, three, step up and switch. Good. One, two, three, step up and switch. Come on. You got eight to go. One, two, three, step up and switch. Six more. Two, three, come on. You got it. One, two, three, step up. Boom. Four to go. Come on. One, two, three. Let's go. Yes. One, two, three, step up. Last two. One, two, three, step it up. Come on. Make them good. Woo. One, two, three. Last one. Here you go. Pow. Holy mackerel. Don't stop moving. Step down. Eight or nine out of 10, right? Maybe even 10 out of 10. Struggling to talk. It's right where I want you. Good job. Yes. Good. Take it into a little grapevine. Oh, beautiful. Big inhale. Catch your breath. Exhale. Out. Inhale. Little grapevine. Exhale. Relax the arms. One more time. There. One more time. Back. Step tap. Three. Two. And one. Beautiful. Take your feet. Pull your hips. Big inhale. Reach up. Maybe even a little back bend here. Exhale. Forward fold. Leaning halfway. We're gonna split the feet apart. So take one leg back. And you can keep your hands here on your shins if you feel like you're still catching your breath. But if you feel cool enough, you can start to extend the stretch. Just keep your head above your heart. Beautiful. Coming back on up. We're gonna rotate to the front and then back over to the other side. So finding some support here or maybe using a chair or stool to help yourself balance. Little stretch in the hamstrings. Good, come back to center. Inhale to lift. Take your feet right outside your hip width apart. Drive your right arm. As you reach the left arm up, look up at your left fingertips. Nice side body stretch, inhale both arms up. Exhale. Oh, doesn't it feel good to accomplish that? Doesn't it feel good to be done with that? Inhale, reach up. And exhale out. Good, bring your hands to your heart. Take a moment to acknowledge how well you just treated your body here in this workout today and to love your body for everything that it does for you. That was intense, you guys. I'm so glad you stuck it out. You rocked it, drenched in sweat as usual. We should take sweaty selfies right now and post them on Instagram for real. Make sure that you stay hydrated for the rest of the day and that you eat a nice, healthy, balanced, nutrient-dense meal. If you need help with figuring out what to eat, just send me a quick message and I'll be in touch. All right, talk to you guys soon.